uh hello guys welcome back to my channel uh thank you very much for stopping by if you're new here please do feel welcome if you're one of my returning viewers thank you very much for stopping by on today's video i will be doing a deep uh clean in my pantry so everything that is on the kitchen counters is everything that i have removed from the pantry the containers uh the baskets all the jars and everything else that we store in the pantry i have removed it i have put it in our kitchen counters and i will be wiping them all down and then i will be cleaning the, the pantry which i'll be showing with you in a minute so this is all the stuff that i have been in the pantry we usually try to stock our pantry once a week uh it is usually just adding on on the supply of the things that are running low we try not to overdo or overbuy things uh, there are things obviously that we buy uh, and they tend to stay more than uh, others so uh, that's how uh, whatever has been in the pantry is now in my kitchen counters and I will be also doing a clean on the containers and everything that is in it so I will be showing you my uh, pantry so my pantry is already empty or half empty i haven't yet removed uh these uh items on the last shelf and i main the main reason why i wanted to clean my pantry uh, uh especially is because of this uh, water pipe uh it is supplying the water that goes to the bathroom and also the water that goes uh to the radiators and because in the pantry there is no uh heating so the water here that is coming through it is actually cold water so um because of obviously the pantry is not uh warm the heating um the cold uh water condenses on the on the pipes and hence that that's why you can see it as a little bit moldy so i want to be uh, able to clean uh, the pipe and then I will also be cleaning the shelves and then I will be able to put everything back uh, where it is supposed to be. Uh, it is not a health risk because the mold is not uh, clingy or touchy, it's just a, a good wet uh, wipe and it's something that usually has to be done maybe once every two weeks and we are good to go. Um, the pantry was renovated sometime last year so it has been working well for us as a family and i am loving it so i uh, will crack on with doing the clean uh, and then i will be arranging everything else so i usually just uh, clean uh, my services and my counters shelving with just no more uh, washing detergent and warm water i do not i avoid to use any harsh chemicals especially because uh, the pantry is where we put the food and you do not want to put um, or use chemicals which can be uh, harmful to uh, human health uh, when i run the water i will use a rug and especially i will start with the pipe which the mold is not yet stuck onto the pipe it is still wet that's why i say every uh, now and then it is important for me to keep it uh, to wipe it so that uh, to ensure that it does not stick and becomes uh, a problem uh, after i do clean uh, the pipe then i proceed to clean the shelves the shelves uh, to be honest are not very dirty because i try as much as often to clean them as i go that way we there's no any build up of of dirt and and uh, and the like uh, i will be uh using uh some liners for two of the shells uh and i will be showing you uh the liner that i bought some time back in ikea and i will be using it to line uh, two of the shelves especially the last shelf uh, the bottom shelf and the middle shelf where I usually put my glass jars and the bottom one where I put the vegetables especially with the onion the peels they usually fall off some little things they usually fall off and uh, within a 
a week you can see things on the floor and that way the uh, shelf uh, paper or plastic will be able to prevent things from falling onto the floors. Uh, with the pantry uh, shelving all nice and clean, I will proceed to start cleaning uh, the food uh, that is in the containers and then I will also be cleaning the containers and just remember you do not need to use hard chemicals, just uh, water and, uh, and soap. Uh, the uh, washing detergent and uh, nothing harmful as I said before so and because the containers uh, and the food like tinned stuff is not very dirty so it's just a quick uh, clean and then I put them back into the uh, containers where they ha they were there before after I finish doing this I will be putting them back and rearranging and organizing my pantry as it was before maybe with a little bit of an improvement a few things may be moved here and there but generally I usually like to know where m m things are and not only for me even for my family that way it makes things uh, easy to, to find and to locate and especially for the things that we do the back stock uh, to be able to be vi visibly uh, uh, available so that we do not go and overbuy something we already have in stock. Uh, for those of you who may have uh, questions where I buy my uh, those white containers, most of them I bought them from IKEA. They are quite cheap and very very steady. So this is uh, containers that you will using you'll be using for years to come if this is something that you might be interested in. And first of all, for me, I find them very convenient because I can be able to keep uh, my foodstuffs uh, in. A more organized manner plus I also know where things are and that way I don't I do not usually waste time when looking for things especially in the pantry uh, the jars most of them as well uh, the glass jars I bought them from IKEA and uh, I can tell you uh, for things which are decanted from the original packaging and for them to be visually uh, be you can be able to see them first of all you're able to see how much you still have in stock and they are uh, visually uh, pleasing to the eye the 
pantry looks neat so it's something that I would recommend because I have tried it I have used my uh, my pantry uh, in since we renovated it uh, a year ago or more than a year ago and believe me I can tell you it has made our lives as a family quite easy and manageable Uh, guys you can see as 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 you can see i also do have different variety of uh containers so i have those uh white uh heavy um uh, containers i do have those clear ones i do have a lazy susan which is a clear one that one i think i bought from matalan and i do have this uh wire uh, mesh baskets those ones i bought some from ikea and i did buy some from uh matalan so guys you can play with different uh containers different baskets so uh you do not have to limit yourself to a certain uh look because you will see after i am done with the cleaning and then i put the uh, rearrange everything back into uh the pantry you can see you do not have to have a particular style to use the same containers everywhere you can play around with, with different baskets and the pantry will still look absolutely wonderful and it will look cohesive and uh and it, it, it will it will be a lovely place to be um and to actually uh function for you as a family Uh, so this is the shelf uh, and drawer liner that I was telling you about. That one I bought from IKEA. I will be cutting that in two uh, long pieces, which I will be putting in, as I said before, uh, the shelf uh, at the bottom and the middle shelf where I usually put uh, most of my glass jars and the vegetables at the bottom. Uh, so my husband was kind enough he cut the shelving uh, liners into and he has put them exactly where I needed them to be and now I can proceed uh, uh, arranging and putting things back where they were and organizing uh, back my pantry and uh, making it as lovely uh, and as functional as it was before. Uh, if you might uh, want to know, I bought those uh, shells, those white shells. I bought them from uh, 
B and Q, they were actually not white in color. We painted them white. They were uh, the wooden color still. And then uh, we have three of them. So two of them are uh, attached together. And there's one at the back, which we usually put in all the baking stuff, all the, um, the utensils that we do not use on a daily basis. So those ones is also a good storage for all those things that uh, we use. Uh, for cooking and preparing food but we do not use uh, often so those ones we put them at the back and when we need them then we grab them out and we can be able to use it so our pantry even though it is not such a big pantry it is still a functional good walking pantry which has a relatively uh, big storage for us as a family and it is more than enough to uh, give us function that we need it for that is mainly to store our dry foods guys this is the end result my pantry is clean dipped clean rearranged organized back as it was and as you can see guys it is absolutely authentically clean pleasing to the eyes you know where everything is and uh, you can easily uh, be able to get what you need uh, I have labeled everything or most of the things so that way you are not confused. You are not sure where things are because everything is labeled. And as I, as I said before, you can see this is the back shelving where we have all the utensils and all the things that we use for food prep. 
that we do not use on a daily basis. And the food uh, stuff is what is put uh, at the front, which can be, is, be easily accessible that, that uh, help us not to have to actually always get into the pantry to the very end because we do not uh, need those things on a daily basis. So guys, that is my pantry. It is neat. It is going to be uh, be used, especially because we are just heading to the Christmas season and I uh, will be starting to buy some more supplies, especially for baking and uh, the food prep for the veggies for Christmas and the like. So guys, I just do hope that you did enjoy this uh, video and do remember to give us a like, a thumbs up and leave us a comment and let us know uh, if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next time. Bye.